This video is sponsored by DimSquid. DimSquid is a website hosting service where you can go and search for and purchase a domain for your website, and then DimSquid will then host your website for under $4 a month, which is obviously super cheap. To make it even better for all of you tech review viewers out there, DimSquid is offering you guys 75% off your purchase by using the offer code TECHREVIEW. So check it out and get started today with your new website hosted by DimSquid. Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we are going over the new USB protection feature that Apple has added this year to iOS 11 and iOS 12. So what exactly is this feature? What does it do and why is it important to all of you iDevice users? Let's find out. Okay, so in the settings app and more specifically in the face ID and or passcode menu, there's an option towards the bottom to toggle USB accessories on or off. When turned on, you will be allowing USB access to your iDevice whenever a user plugs in, regardless of if your iDevice is locked or unlocked. With the advancements in brute force hacking machines, which do use USB to access your device to get into your phone or iPad or whatever iDevice you may have, this can obviously be a problem if this is turned on. So with that being said, I would recommend that you turn it off. Well, what does that do? Turning the toggle off means that you will now have to enter your passcode to unlock your iDevice so that you can access your iDevice via USB. So if you don't unlock your phone for an hour and you need to plug it into, let's say a computer, car, or basically anything to do with USB, even chargers, you will need to enter a passcode or unlock your device with Face ID or Touch ID. So that's a pretty simple explanation. There's not too much more to it because it's a pretty simple feature that actually plays a large role in security within iOS. I mean, Apple has really done a great job in protecting your iDevices from hackers. And I really do think that this is a great addition to iOS as the threat to user security in the mobile market is significantly rising. So what are your thoughts? Is this a good or a bad feature? And will you be using it or will you not? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching this super short video and please make sure to get subscribed for some more upcoming content. We'll catch you all in the next video.